The Hell Creek Formation in the American Midwest is a paleontologist's paradise. Home to some of the world's most famous dinosaur discoveries. But Clayton Phipps is no paleontologist. He's a cowboy. And today, he thinks he's uncovered something truly elusive. I found a nano. That's a pretty one, huh? Clayton has lived his whole life here. But 25 years ago, he and his brother stumbled across a gold mine of dinosaurs, right on his land. From that moment, his life as a rancher was over, and a new one had begun, as a fossil hunter. Go your way, your way. It's just fun to be able to come over here and, you know, dig. When, if I feel like getting a fossil fix, I come here. Right, one more there, bud, dude. That one could be a dromaeosaur. It's a big, fat dromae if it's dromae. These serrated teeth came from predators. And if you're wondering why Clayton's putting them in his mouth, it's not for the taste. Dino bones are porous, with tiny tubes for strength and to allow air or liquid to pass through. So one way to check whether something is a fossil and not just a piece of rock is to see whether it sticks to moisture from the tongue. Well, it tastes, tastes like success, like a good day. <laughs> Over the years, Clayton's helped uncover some spectacular dinosaur finds, and today is no different. He thinks he's found something incredibly rare. Well, I found a nano. That's a pretty one, huh? It's not a T-Rex, but it could be Nanotranus. I think it is. Yeah, I believe it's Nano. Very nice tooth. Are you happy about that one? Heck yeah. <laughs> Clayton thinks this tooth belongs to one of the most elusive dinosaur species known to science, the Nano Tyrannus. Some say this dinosaur was a cousin of Tyrannosaurus rex, it would have looked similar, but have been a fraction of the size. Clayton's latest discovery could bring us one step closer to resolving a hotly debated question. Because many paleontologists think nanos didn't exist at all, that they may have just been juvenile T. rex. So this tooth might be a very important clue. That's cool. Good find. Certain individual would argue that it is a T-Rex tooth. Because nano does not exist, but say it be gone. <laughs> well, I found teeth like that that were unquestionably that size that were unquestionably T-Rex teeth. That is a blade tooth. That is not a banana rex tooth. As a professional fossil hunter, Clayton sells some of the fossils he finds. But he also collaborates with paleontologists such as these scientists from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. Look, is that ankylosaur texture or triceratops? This could be more triceratops. There's, you know, shared love of fossils. It's actually a very unique collaboration to be able to come together and do the work we love. There's obviously always a chance of something new being in here. So it takes a village to figure it all out sometimes. There's some weird stuff that comes out of here that you can't always put a name on. Mm. I definitely enjoy working with these guys that probably know a little bit more and seen a little bit more than I have. I spend a lot more time in the field every summer than they get to, so the field work is something that I can excel at, and I like to find them so they can study them. It's just fun to share that information. The role of commercial fossil hunters is not without its critics in the world of paleontology. Bones sold to private collectors are unlikely to be studied for science and can push up prices. But in this remote wilderness, fossils left exposed could easily be destroyed long before they're seen by human eyes. Because if we don't find these fossils, they do weather out and they're gone. Um, so I like to say I'm saving them from a second extinction. Thanks to Clayton, many more stand a chance of being discovered to tell the story of the dinosaurs who left them behind.